Or should we teach eugenics and ethics? No, there's some ideas that are so reprehensible and provably wrong, they shouldn't be in anywhere close to an academic environment. Now, a professor obviously has the freedom of speech to say what he or she wants individually, but from a curriculum standpoint, from what you're able to measure or test, to say that all of a sudden we're going to teach that race matters, that somehow that people are suffering from a pandemic of whiteness, as Coca-Cola would say, or just critical theory or critical race theory, no, that has no place in, a, in an educational environment because in an educational environment, it's less about really the- What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook destroys book race beating professor. According to Charlie Kick, because of kicking us. This is going to be amazing. Let's get right to the reason. Given the concerns you've expressed about censorship and interference with free speech, I wonder how you view the laws in Florida and other states that restrict what uh, professors can teach about racism in the classroom. I mean, obviously you disagree with the doctrines you teach, but why, you know, would you extend to them the same right to free speech that you advocate for everybody else? No, I mean, it's a matter of curriculum, right? So I would ask a question, should we teach the flat earth theory in physics, right? Should we, should we teach bloodletting in biology? Should we teach lobotomies in medical school? Or should we teach eugenics and ethics? No, there's some ideas that are so reprehensible and provably wrong, they shouldn't be in anywhere close to an academic environment. Now, a professor obviously has the freedom of speech to say what he or she wants individually, but from a curriculum standpoint, from what you're able to measure or test, to say that all of a sudden we're gonna teach that race matters, that somehow that people are suffering from a pandemic of whiteness as Coca-Cola would say, or just critical theory or critical race theory. No, that has no place in, a, in an educational environment because in an educational environment, it's less about really the opinion of the teacher or the opinion of the student. It's the pursuit of the soul and the entire being of the student towards truth, goodness, and beauty. And so you must have, you must have a teleological destination for that. Yes, a follow-up. Just one follow-up, which is, so you would say that the idea that there's uh, systemic racism in this country is as off base as the idea that the earth is flat and as provably wrong as the idea that the earth is flat? Yes, I mean, I would ask you, how are we systemically racist? Well, I mean, we could have a long discussion, about it, but I'm a journalist. Uh, I don't think it's a place for it, but possibly if you attended a class on it, you might get in a debate with the professor and see what their data shows and right. whether it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of scholarly dispute. I mean, there's a lot of books on both sides or whether yeah. it's as, I'm not aware of a lot of scholarly well accepted books that advocate that the earth is flat. So I, I would say this is a matter of scholarly debate. There, These there others was are till Galileo came along. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. And yeah, just to close it, yes, I think advocating for black only dormitories is a moral equivalent of bloodletting, lobotomies, and flat earth theory. I think it's evil, it's wrong, and has no place in American education. True. <sighs> Keep up saying the Zuvano Viking. Charlie is on it again. Raise Bitling. Raise Beatus. Like, it's it's very, very tiring. And Charlie, I've said that several times. I started about this Raise Bitling argument. Um, it's also the CRT, critical race theory. Um, it's just that every single time we come about this Raise Bitling thing and arguing about the blacks, life smarter and stuff, it's very very tiring you voice not your own opinion over and over again it's something we should know we don't know what america did in the 17th centuries also the 18th centuries it's not totally fair in the aspect of owning slaves but but when it comes to this race beating of how people have been treated black have been treated it's not just the blacks that have been treated bad the asians in the 1940s when the asians came to america they were they were they were treated badly they were giving that treatment of isolation. But Asians America are one of the richest now in America. So every time I see this race between matter and issues, like it always comes to black people. And it's very, very tiring every time I come into this kind of discussions. And if you think about it now, Asians America are one of the richest and the successful. How did that happen? And you're not, you, you won't see an Asian American coming out to talk about race between, race between, race between. No. Um, comment down below to talk about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can, subscribe to our channel, I will see you guys in the next video, make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag, like an old lady, I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that don't
don't don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. 